What about the cold open? We'll figure it out. I'm sure we'll say something stupid while we film. <laughs> we always do. Hey readers, welcome back to another episode of Six Picks. I'm Emma. And I'm Abby. And it's our birthday! Read It Forward is turning 10 years old this month. It's crazy. Can you believe it? Can you think of all of the amazing book recommendations we've given out over the last 10 years? We've been thinking about it, and we've been thinking about all of the great books that we found out about through Read It Forward. So today we're sharing our six picks for Read It Forward fan favorites. My first pick is The Windfall by Dick Shabasio. This is an absolutely hysterical novel, which is a comedy of manners of sorts that follows the Jha family in East Delhi in India. Mr. Jha sells his website and comes into a bit of money. So after 30 years of living next to the same gossipy neighbors, the Jaws are moving on up. They move to a very fancy neighborhood and start keeping up with the Chopras, which are the neighbors next door. And this is just an absolutely hysterical tale that looks at family and what really matters to all of us. My first pick is Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. Obviously, many people know Gillian from Gone Girl. Mm -hmm. This is Gillian's first novel, and it's my favorite of hers. It follows Camille Preaker, who is a reporter. She goes home to her tiny hometown in Missouri to try to unravel the very disturbing story of the murder of two preteen girls. This has a lot of classic Gillian tropes. Mm -hmm. It's a homecoming tale. It's got that southern gothic feel with a modern twist. It's a dark, twisty mystery, and it has tons of family drama. This is a super fast, compelling read. And it's been turned into an HBO limited series starring Amy Adams. I love it. My second pick is Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. I love this one. This is such a fun book that follows Rachel Chu and her boyfriend Nick, who are just living in New York, having a perfectly nice relationship, when Nick asks her to accompany him to Singapore for the summer, where his family is. She thinks nothing of it until she gets there and finds out that his family is unbelievably wealthy. Like, they own all of Singapore, and Nick is basically Singapore's most eligible bachelor. So, of course, you know, Nick's mother distrusts Rachel. She's completely overwhelmed by all of this money, and it turns into the most hysterical romp you will ever read. My next pick is A Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith. This is a quintessential childhood classic. It's a coming of age story about a young girl living in Williamsburg, Brooklyn at the beginning of the 20th century. I love reading the descriptions of her surroundings, especially because I live in Brooklyn now, and it's so fun to see and hear about the places where I go every day and what's changed and what hasn't. One of the reasons I picked this book also is that I read a really fascinating article about how it came to be popular. And it was one of the books that was given out to American soldiers in World War II to boost morale. And it was the most requested book among soldiers. So it has a very universal appeal, even though it's about a 12-year-old girl. My third pick is Love and Ruin by Paula McLean. Now, you know I love historical fiction, and Paula McLean does it so well. This novel follows Martha Gellhorn, who is a journalist, and at 28 she goes over to Madrid to report on the atrocities of the Spanish Civil War. Now, when she gets to Europe, she meets a dashing writer by the name of Ernest Hemingway, and the two fall in love and get married. But Martha needs to weigh whether becoming Hemingway's wife will completely ruin her independence as a woman. And so if you loved The Paris Wife, Paula's last book, you'll absolutely love this one even more. My last pick is Vinegar Girl by Ann Tyler. This is one of our fan favorites for sure. It's a modern retelling of The Taming of the Shrew. And I loved it because all of the things that make Ann Tyler great at what she does uh, kind of tie into what made 
Shakespeare, such a pioneer in his day. She's known for her witticisms. She's known for her really heart-wrenching interpersonal relationships. And this is such a deft blending of styles. It's also, to my mind, one of the only uh, interpretations of Taming of the Shrew that lives up to my favorite one, which is 10 Things I Hate About You. Uh, and what I love about this book is that in Vinegar Girl, Ann Tyler finds a way to do a modern retelling that is totally fresh and new and unexpected. There you have it. Those are our six picks for Read It Forward's fan favorites. Read along with us and help us celebrate our 10th birthday. Yay! Yay! And if you have a favorite book that you discovered through Read It Forward, we'd love to hear about it. Let us know in comments below or tweet at us at Read It Forward. And for even more great reading recommendations, sign up for our newsletter at readitforward.com.